Hello, it's Mr. Rayner. In this video, I just want to talk very briefly about the weekly summary you can get for your son's work at Hitchin Boys School. Um, with Google Classroom, the way it's set up, teachers and students can get access to the actual Google Classroom. No one else can. Parents can't actually get access to a Google Classroom. You can do what I do with my son where I've asked him, he's in year five at primary school, and I've asked him to log in on my phone to the Google Classroom app. And then whenever a teacher private messages him, about the work he's done, I get to see what that teacher said. If there's work he's not sure about, I can go in and look at that work myself as well. But the other option is to get these weekly summaries. And I've got an example here from one of the students at our school, and it's from the 15th to the 22nd of May. Now, to get these emails, you just need to ask one of your son's class teachers to invite you. They go into the Google Classroom, they'll invite you using the email you provided. You'll then get an email saying, would you like to get these weekly summaries and you, you click on yes, I'd like to get the weekly summary. And what the weekly summary goes through, and we can see for this student, first of all, it goes the work which is missed. Where teachers have set due dates, these are pieces of work that um, the Google Classroom system doesn't think he's done. And it would be something you might then want to follow up with them. Sometimes it's because they've not done it. Sometimes it's because they've not clicked on the hand in button. This is for my son, and he needs to click on the hand in to say he's done this piece of work. Once he's clicked on the hand in, um, the teacher then knows it's time to mark. And on this summary, it would no longer be on the summary. And we go through and we get all the details, all the information of what the teachers ask them to do. If they've put in links, like this teacher has put in a link to a YouTube video, you can then click on that YouTube link. Then it tells you things which are due in the next week. So this email is up to 22nd of May. So this is for things which are due beyond there. And again, all the, all the information the teachers put in. You then get activity, things which have been put into the classroom. You get to see who the teacher was who set it. If you need to email the teacher yourself, it's their initial, their surname at hitchinboys.co.uk. And as we go through, we get to see all of the work which the uh, teachers of this pupil have set. And we keep going through, keep going through. Loads and loads of work has been set during this week. And at the bottom, if at any point these emails get too much, you can click on unsubscribe or you can change the settings if one of your teachers classes isn't there you could always email them and they might need to change the settings in their classroom so that the work is included on the email hopefully this is helpful just to let you know that one the um, classroom summaries exist two if you want to get the classroom summaries for your son email just one of your teachers you don't need to email them all if one of them sets you up if one of them invites you you'll then get email information on all of the different google classrooms they're in Thank you very much.